Bachelor alumni Darwin Davis Jr. led Bloomington High School South to two state titles in three years. so many. Uh, it's very accomplished uh, in basketball. I say one of his first uh, state titles. What made you decide to go to the state? Their their style of basketball fits fits what I like to do, and uh, it really helped me, you know, distribute the ball and you know push the ball the court, which you know that's when they have a lot of showtime and champions, so they know I enjoy that. Championships, they were different. Um, but I think the first one uh, was more for the seniors on the team because I didn't want to let them down. So, you know, most of the most of my hard work was on the team. But uh, I have to say the same senior season was more like ours because, like I said before about Jackson Creek, all those guys went to another school, and that's what I always played with in the second grade. So, you know, we played on the state championship. started out playing some baseball. Uh, he was a pretty good baseball player himself. Uh, I was Kevin Swango's kid, a uh, little brother. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, he played some baseball early on. Uh, and I, I'm an ex-baseball player myself, and I enjoy watching him do that. And he started to play uh, basketball and really fell in love with it. And so uh, we fell in love with it. And uh, I guess everybody around here have too. But. Um, the freshman year, I transferred from Bloomington to South. It's good relationships now, you know, we're all friends still. But uh, you know, that game is still trash to go on. Now the head basketball coach for Darwin Davis, which is me. Uh, Darwin is just a little bit slower than these other three. <laughs> that we took a year to convince him where he should be. And since he's been here for the last two years, uh, We've been on a record of 49 and 1. He's been MVP of the state championship team. Uh, and a truly, truly point guard that's the leader of his team. Uh, does some amazing things. Uh, doesn't come in at 6 in the morning very well since he's been late the last two days for uh, <laughs> practice. But he had a few laps in to take care of that. He, he brings it in at nighttime and does his work, he says, after everybody else is gone. So D has been a great addition here at Bloomington South. Uh, positive. Hard working, good teammate, and a very good player. And uh, I know that uh, all these schools that got these four players, as well as we're at Belmont and uh, Xavier and Bowling Green and IU, have got great kids. And D 
is another one of those players that will be really, really missed here. So, D. Davis and his family, congratulations. <laughs> None of us have pins right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay another year after this year, then I guess. <laughs> we'll try to find you. These people come prepared, they got pins. I like taking care of you. Anything else? But uh, I really like to thank my family, and all the coaches, and all my friends and players for the support they gave me. They gave me and all the rest of the. Uh, Signings today, and I uh, also like to thank uh, the University of Xavier for giving me the opportunity to come do what I do. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just like to thank everybody for that, and uh, I hope everybody the best. And I look forward to the springtime to see a few other people up there doing the same thing. So. <laughs> Davis Jr. is now a freshman at Xavier University with a full-ride basketball scholarship. 